Hi everyone and happy return. This film discusses how the Cato's little size exacerbates their situation. Clearing, margin call swaps, and many other topics are covered in this film. First, we take a look at the current trend that poses a risk to short sellers. This trend resembles the pattern from August 2023, prior to the reversal split, quite a bit. In October of last year, just as this trend was about to peak, market makers for head funds and FINRO collaborated to omit half of the FTD data. Then, they used ELGO manipulation to get it to drop once more. We witnessed all she required to breach the 200 ma wall, identical to what GME seen in May, when it was approximately 16 before rising to $80. AMC ought to come next at $40. Considering AMC's current position, we can conclude that the business is progressing quite well, both in terms of technology and fundamentals which we'll cover later in this video. When market events like high-frequency algorithm suppression, failed FTDs that displayed zero or the incorrect number instead of being marked, and so forth occurred in the past, AMC should have increased during those periods. Hedge funds exploit these occurrences and the several HSS we have witnessed along the way as justifications to exit AMC. This is an extremely crucial moment for it to occur. We need your assistance, Citadel, as we are unable to meet the margin core B. We will be observing the collaboration between Citadel and Bank of New York. As you can see, Andy, from one Bank of New York fruit to the next, we've got your family covered. Citadel, what it is, is obviously giving Cadell again another, um, aid you could say in terms of liquidity. Now, this isn't the first time where we've seen Cattle actually needed help in the past. What we've seen was how Cadell obviously asked for more loans. Now, bear in mind, asking for loans is normal. But when you're asking for loans at a very high interest rate, at a very bad rating, and it's increasing and you have to renew all of these loans a countless amount of times. It shows that you're obviously struggling for liquidity. You're obviously struggling with your capital. And that's exactly what we are seeing so going forward. This is obviously their new way of trying to get. Liquidity, now there's a big reason for this. We already know that Citadel has massive exposure towards short positions. Their overall risk management clearly isn't good. And at any point where they don't get injected with liquidity with money, they will blow up any time. And that's why we are seeing all of these things happening. And that's what we're seeing right now. The market is crucial, of course. Citadel employs NVIDIA as one of its primary collateral, as we have already stated. Since we already know that NVIDIA will eventually fail, its current price is regarded as being extremely expensive. It is therefore obvious where this is headed and why C is taking the precautions they are in order to shield themselves from potential dangers like banking regulations and aids. It's also evident that they're struggling to thrive and make ends meet under the current management, who doesn't provide them with any leeway. See if we examine an alternative business pump, 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 hoverboard key pumping for it up AI high places the masses because you hold 14.3 million NVIDIA shares over $7 billion now. This is about Goldman Sachs, but what we can see is that along with Goldman Sachs, along with Goldman Sachs, along with this down, there are many firms. Right now, which rely on technology stocks, one of the biggest collaterals they have is obviously NVIDIA, and because of that, they obviously, with seeing the increase of NVIDIA's market C, they obviously have an increase in the capital and liquidity now that what they do with the money is to obviously. Then take it out as a loan to get out the collateral in which then they shoot it um, into AMC, they try and suppress AMC. And so that's what they are doing and that's how they always able to find money to suppress AMC. But like we talk about all this money that they've dumped into AMC are backed by NVIDIA. If at any point NVIDIA were to crash, were to collapse and market value were to go down, then what we see is that the short positions they have created in the past will also be in a very bad position because they don't have the capital to actually maintain the margin anymore, hence seeing the margin core. And that's why you continuously see these short sellers who use NVIDIA as collaterals, who are continuously suppressing AMC do the same thing over and over again, because they are afraid of what's about to happen. Furthermore, you can see, remember, ACE is $1. Zero, zero is not the squeeze that's just the beginning of the end. We'll take a look, obviously, at AMC now, like we talked about where it's the fact we've seen AMC is supposed to go up in the past, wherever it's the fact that we've seen short sellers of AMZ continuously getting handout continuously. Getting liquidity, you have to understand, is that the longer this drags on the higher the price AMC will obviously get to. Because it means that every day they're suppressing the price, whether it's going on down or if it's staying stagnant, as long as we don't see AMC going up, is likely due to the fact that they are obviously naked shorting creating synthetics and suppressing AMC, and by doing so what they obviously do is. That when it comes to the time they have to pay for these positions, they will have to pay thousands, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars for one single share of AMC, and like we talked about, they have created hundreds of millions of shares, if not billions of shares, if not billions of shares of AMC and. That's why you know we are in the situation where shorts uneasily are trying to cover any short positions in AMC. 
because they understand the domino effect it will give, they understand the snowball effect it will give, and that's exactly what they are trying to avoid. You can also see here, like we talked about whether it's the technical or in this case the fundamental, while $40 million average about only in USA for the last month, all-time high year incoming by 2025. And further, every single year we'll see record by record, so you know this is what we have to understand, is that AMC fundamental, whether it's the company itself, whether it's the industry it's in, we are all seeing it improve, and remember AMC is trying the best they can to get more share of the industry, and to obviously expand into more revenue streams, like we talked about, they broke record with their merchandise, they broke records with their food and beverages, and they will obviously continue to do so, whilst also making and expanding in their current revenue streams, and so this is. Having to understand that short realizes short realize whether it's the technical, whether it's fundamental AMC is placed in a very, very good position, and it is a threat towards these firms, and that's why, like we talk about, whether it's the suppression, the suppression that you see on the chart with price action that's obviously to make the technicals of AMC look bad. The RLs that you see about AMC constantly telling you to sell your AMC shares are obviously another suppression meant to make the AMC fundamentals look bad because, as I mentioned, they know that both the technical and fundamentals of AMC are performing extremely well. Additionally, we must understand that the AMC has increased by 90% in the last three months at this point. 90% is nothing. But three months ago, people were predicting that the AMC would actually drop by 90%, but instead we have seen an increase of 90%. Since I am aware that AMC is discounted by more than 90%, I can claim that 90% isn't a huge concern. The clarified forecast just went live month day swap relief granted in the first five days of operations where we see is that the CFTC grants interactive brokers. If we see AMC go to his true value right now, not including a squeeze, you know we're seeing a TE 2000 you know we're seeing a very high percentage in return of AMC shares. And that's when we understand you in terms of where AMC truly should belong, where the true reflection of AMC value actually should be. Let's look at something that's very devastating um, in terms of what the short sellers are at and understanding why you know we see a companies like S trying to fail um, in terms of getting that liquidity here to make sure they don't fail their margin call, see this, the clarified forecast just went. Life month day swap relief granted in the first five days of operations where we see, as we mentioned in passing before, it's crucial to remember that these are issued for a specific purpose, a shift in the swap conditions that lengthens the duration of their capital meaning. This time it's Citadel clearly a short hedge fund or there's something stuff going on here. Allows clearinghouse to stay out of the swap reporting loop. Although it is known that these brokers likely provide options in a wide range of equities, the ones that harm these companies the most are most likely AMC and GME. Both VOAS and Fred Swiss experienced it. Interactive Broker is another brokerage website that is losing money. Given their low stature, two of them are unquestionably too exposed. It occurred with UBS and is currently occurring with several other companies. I'll reiterate what I wrote earlier. But the main takeaway is that the current situation is awful for short sellers. These are stories that damage short sellers, which is obviously excellent news for us, which is precisely why they are attempting to stop us. Examples include brokers going out of business because they are losing money due to exposure, as we witnessed with Robin Hood, or short hedge funds running out of cash and needing assistance. AG, we discussed this topic around five weeks ago, unscheduled exchange and market shutdown for clearing agencies a DTC guide. We recently discussed the exclusion from swap reporting requirements and the challenges faced by businesses such as set it out in fulfilling margin calls. Furthermore, as we have already discussed, clearing agency exchanges and markets can abruptly close. They are aware of how overexposed and leveraged these companies are, which is why we argued that this was just another handout. They are also looking for any means to mitigate the impact and support short sellers. I appreciate you viewing, and I'll talk to you later.